Okay, so today's the official day of uh, Summer League. And uh, I wanted to say my farewells to the former Lakers. Uh, Ronnie Price went to the Suns. Uh, Wes, Wesley Johnson went to the Clippers. Uh, Jordan Hill went to the Pacers. Ed Davis to the Blazers. Jeremy Lin to the Hornets. And what's the guy's name? Wayne Ellington to the to the Brooklyn Nets. You know, uh, Wayne Ellington, classy guy, sent out a tweet thanking the Laker land, Laker fans and all of that. So that was good. Jordan Clarkson also, he wrote a piece for the uh, Players Tribune. That's an interesting piece. He talks about um, how he tried to ingratiate himself and starting off from a 46 pick. It's kind of sound like a NBA 2K, uh, my player, like <laughs> his whole journey, whatever. But it's an interesting article. You might want to read that. Uh, I made this video to say, you know, it's a lot of negative criticism about the Lakers missing out on uh, uh, Aldridge and so many people just down on the Lakers. The Lakers ain't going to be this. The Lakers ain't going to be that. Now, you got to remember, right now, we're just in a we're in a rebuilding mode. I mean, we wasn't going to win the championship had we got Aldridge anyway. OK, because it's just right now the league and how everything's going. We're in a situation where we're just trying to push for the eighth. eighth uh, we're trying to push for that eighth spot. So we're still in a rebuilding process. We're like the Lakers practice facility. <laughs> so, look, we got a great nucleus. I mean, we got three solid rookies. OK, like these rookie, any one of these three. Well, no, not three solid rookies. Possibly Upshaw, possibly Upshaw. Upshaw might be actually a catch in um, today. Well, he goes the first day of um, summer of the summer league. He's going up against Carl Anthony Towns. So I would like to see that matchup. See how they how these two go at it. See, that's really going to be a test. And the day after that, he goes to get up against the the uh, guy who thought he was going to be a Laker before he got drafted, uh, Jaleel Okafor. Um, so that's going to be interesting because I'm pretty sure Jaleel Okafor wants to show up against the Lakers for passing him up. So, you know, you got back to back. So we get to see Upshaw prove himself, which I think it, I've really got high confidence in this guy. I think he's going to do excellent. Um, but what I'm saying is we have three young guys. We got a nucleus, man. I mean, come on. This is like a young OKC. Now, we don't have a Durant, but you get what I'm saying. Um, D'Angelo Russell's kind of like a young Harden, all right? But he can pass, though. He's like Harden, but he can pass. You got a, a Clarkson, who shows flashes of a, of a Russell Westbrook. Um, and you got, uh, what's this, uh, Julius Randle, who just came to he got injured. But look at look at look at um Blake Griffin. When Blake Griffin got injured and he came back the following season, just he came back even stronger. I think that's what happened with um with Randall. Randall lost weight and he's in better shape now. He looks good. They showed highlights on Lakers.com of him breezing through guards. So I think this is gonna be a fast paced offense. Um I, another thing I just glossed over was um, we actually got the players. I was panicking. I was like, oh, my God, are we going to get Roy? Are we going to keep Roy Hibbert? Larry Bird was a man of his word, and he traded Roy Hibbert to the Lakers for a second-round pick um, to be decided. They haven't really put out, I mean, who knows what the, the details are. Uh, we still got Ryan Kelly, still got Robert Sacre, uh, still got Nick Young, um, even though uh, Mitch Kupchak today said, that Nick Young actually needs to get it on deck. He needs to get on board and be more than just an offensive player. He needs to be focusing on the defensive end. So, in other words, Nick Young's on the trading block. Um, for for those of you, some I had some guys in my comments talking about Gerald Green. Well, Gerald Green, he went ahead and signed with the Heat, but um, I mean, come on, man, we got a, we got a, a great young team. All right, and, and Julius Randle is going to be special. 
you can look at him and see that he has some potential and he's going to he's going to come back stronger because he had a year on the bench and he actually saw the pace of the NBA because one of the initial problems of him in the preseason was he was going at too fast he was going too hard he he had he had to adjust to the to the NBA speed so we have to see how everything plays out but we got a young nucleus these guys are going to be special and then we got a a young upshaw that we can possibly sign and this guy's going to be like a young Ibaka. So, I mean, come on. We have the young nucleus. This is Kobe's last year. So if you haven't done so already, you need to go to uh, see Kobe live. I know I'm, I'm preaching to the, myself because I, I have never seen Kobe live. So I want, I'm going to go this season. I'm going to see Kobe live and, uh, you know, watch his farewell tour. So this is going to be very interesting season. Stop just looking at it like, oh, man, we're not going to get no chip. We're not going to get no ring. It's too much competition in the NBA right now. you got LeBron James and Steph Curry. It's a lot of teams that's more stacked. So, no, we're not going to get a ring. But let's just hope that we can get in that eighth spot. Let's just let these young fellas develop. Okay, you got, um, I mean, D'Angelo Russell. You got the you got the number two pick. This guy is a truth. This guy is a guy that's going to make players better all right so it's a brand new year let's just get let's get hyped about the uh, summer league because there's too many people in the media just down on the lakers oh they didn't get this i mean we wasn't gonna win the ring with aldridge anyway and we're gonna have more opportunity for these rookies to develop that's what they need to do anyway so let's focus on the nucleus okay this is this is a rebuilding phase in, in the, the three. We, we kind of that's like our big three. That's our big three. We they ain't, they're not a big three yet till they prove themselves. But that's our blueprint. All right. So let's let's be proud about our Lakers, man. I mean, nothing's perfect. We still have two point eight million left over from the new salary cap. And that with that two point eight mil, they could actually squeeze another player in there. I don't know how it works. I don't know how they're going to do, you know, how what they're going to do. But some people are saying Darrell Wright, he's still available. We don't know. I mean, Mitch seems to always see something that us fans don't see. So um, I guess I just had to keep faith in Mitch and see what Mitch, what Mitch Kupchak does. But um, just want to make a quick video, catch up with you guys. I mean, come on now. This is the summer league. We get to see the talent thrive and grow. I mean, come on, man. Get excited. Get pumped up. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Eddie Starr. Peace.